Here I am, uh, watching the bull I've been trying to find for about a week now. Finally found him tonight. He's a, just a giant five point. I mean, just unbelievable five point. I got some incredible video and pictures of him earlier this winter. Uh, I'm gonna try to watch him for the next few days off and on when I can, but uh, he's an awesome bull and I'd love to freaking pick his horns up. Haven't had the greatest luck going on this year yet, but uh, hopefully he'll break the ice. So stay tuned. I hope I get him. These little adapters are freaking just amazing. Just hooks right to your scope. We'll check that out. And look at that video I'm shooting on me right now. I got a little HD little Canon. This is this is freaking incredible. I've uh, I've been watching this bull for about two weeks now. Uh, he's just an incredible bull, a monster five point. You don't see bulls that look like this very often. Uh, I've got hours in this bull watching him this winter hoping he's gonna, I was gonna get lucky and he was gonna shed where I could find him and uh, have a good idea where they were so I could find them. And uh, I showed up tonight and uh, he's got one horn. It's, I'm, <laughs> this is looking sweet. I'm gonna get some awesome pictures tonight. I'm gonna sit right here and uh, this, watch him shit that one side so this is gonna be a sweet night baby he's got one or baby i'm gonna hold the scope cam up to the spotter right here and we're gonna get some sweet video watch this This is absolutely unbelievable. I just flipping had it, my camera on him, filming him, paused it to do some settings and stuff while he had his head in that mahogany, and that flipping thing just came off on my camera. I don't know if I got it on record, but I'm gonna show you. It's his horns laying right next to him. He just, I just watched him shed that flipping horn. I cannot believe it. Watch this. was flipping unbelievable. I showed up right here 10 minutes later. The bull I've been watching for two weeks has one horn. Two minutes later after I'm, while I'm recording him, he sheds the one side. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I told you it was gonna be an unbelievable night. I'm freezing. That, that horn's laying over there on the side hill. I'm not gonna go get it for a day or two. Let the bulls regroup. And leave the area they're heading up the side hill now i've been watching them for about two hours god uh, one of the bulls that was with him went up to the horn and started licking it it was pretty cool uh that's that's just an awesome bull and i'm gonna get some sweet pictures of him on the ground for you and it's gonna be awesome when i go down and pick him up in a couple days so stay tuned because there's a lot more to come well uh here we are back gonna go pick up this big bull's horns today it's uh it's been about two days, close to 48 hours now, and the sun hit yesterday hard, melted off a bunch of this snow behind me, you can tell. Uh, I hope they're as big as I think they are, so let's go get them. Thanks, down. <laughs> Thanks, <Dan. laughs> Big five point. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. There's my two horn hounds I had to bring along today. A lot, a lot of days and hours scouting and watching this bad boy waiting for him to shed. This gobs of mass, I mean. These things are giants. After checking our trail camera in the summer of 2010, we were excited to find that this Monster 5 was still putting on the engine. This bull was harvested later on that fall. 